All right, so we are going to do now question number seven to test to see if the standardized reading scores are the same between regular and small. So we need to set up our null hypothesis. So our null is going to be that our reading score is equal between the two types of class, and our alternative is that they won't be equal. Okay, so when we come to our data, so I'm going to create a new column, one, two, and I'm just going to create a column so I can resort the data back to where it is now. Okay, and I'm also going to move these. If I cut those, control X and paste them over here, so they're st still the same values, but because I want to be able to deal with these columns. Actually, no, let's take that back. Let's just keep those there for right now. Okay, so now I want to deal with these columns. So I want to go to data. I want to sort the data. Okay, so let's highlight it, sort it. I want to sort it by class type, and then within each class type, I want to sort it by Z reading so I can get all of the missing date variables by them next to each other. Okay, so I'm going to sort this on reading, Z reading one. I click OK, and you see th crazy things happen. So I don't want to do that because these are all um, functions based on different cells. So I want to take this Z reading, I'm going to cut it, and I'm going to come over here and I'm going to go to home, paste. Whoops, I don't want to paste it, but click down here. and see if we can paste this special. So we want to paste special, and we want to paste it as a value. So now this reading score is an actual value, where over here this reading score is a function. Okay, so now that I have that actual value, let's see, this, this way just a little, there we go. Okay. Sorry, I didn't quite catch that screen, it was all the way there. Okay, so if I come over here now, so here's my Z reading, I'm going to do the same thing with Z math. I can just click right there and it pastes it as a value. And so now this is what I want to sort after that. So if I go all the way down, okay, I can just erase this stuff. There we go, and now we're ready to go. So I'm going to highlight my data, I'm going to go data, sort. I'm going to do a class type, and then my new level is the second Z reading. Click OK. Now it's going to mess these up, but that's OK because I can resort it back to how it was. What it doesn't mess up are these right here. Okay, so if I look over here, okay, so my regular plus, or I need to go down to my regular class, or my small class, it's going to go from 6230 or 6330. Quite a, oh, there it goes. To 4331. So that's my range for my small. My regular is going to go from 4430 all the way up to 2237. So my range is, but that's not quite the range because within my regular class I have individuals that actually don't have reading scores. So now that's this variable here. Alright, so here's the reading scores. And we're going to go all the way down. So our new range is, should be down to 4430, or they're nearby, but not all of them because some of them are going to have missing reading scores. So the last reading score is actually 4242. So our range is going to be from 2237 to 4242. All right, and we go down and find 4331. Here's where it should start for. Oh, we must have had that number wrong. So the more, more, small class is 4431. Okay, and you notice 4431 does have a reading score. And now we just need to go down to find where 
they no longer do have reading scores, which happens at 6169. So now we have this range that we can do our t test. Let's go to data analysis. Okay, and our range is going to be in AW. So for a regular class, it's AW2237 all the way down to AW4242. For our small class, it's AW4431 to AW6169. I click OK, and now here's the t test for those. So this tells us that the mean score of a regular class is just below zero. The mean score of a small class is just above. So that difference between the two, if I look at that difference of 0.18 standard deviations is the difference. But the question is, is that number different than zero? And our T stat shows us that it's a negative 5.58. So that is clearly well below 1.96. And so therefore we reject the null so if we come back here to here, what we find, so we want to put our t-statistics, our t-statistic, our t-stat is equal to, we want to have our fraction here, our reading score difference. So we have these two variables, so 0 0.06, so ne negative 0 0.06 minus, 0.12 minus 0 divided by the standard error of this right here. And that t stat is equal to negative 5.58. And so the result of our test is we reject the null and conclude that small or students in small class sizes do significantly better. That word may not be spelled correctly. I think that's what that squiggle means by about 0.18 standard deviations than students in regular sized classes. All right, and there's our answer then to number seven. So a little analysis we have to do with the data, but there we get our answer for that.